Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Mastern, that's Zimtech guy. So, if it's uh, your first time to the channel, please, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. I would really appreciate the support. If you like the video, if you eventually end up liking the video, please press that thumbs up button. And uh, yeah, without uh, further to do, let's create a new composition and uh, see what we can do. So, right, let me just name this. Um, text uh, reveal okay let me just name this text reveal 1920 by 1080 uh, the background color is fine right there we are so this is actually a pretty simple effect um, I, I think I can even do it under even a minute so let's just create text uh, in this text we want to say um, let's just say text Okay, let me just text reveal. Okay, let's just use that as the base we have here. Okay, right, text reveal, just press Y. Okay, all right, so, so we've created our text. Um, text review and uh, at the end of this animation this is where the text should be but we now want to create that pop-up effect and uh, it's actually quite simple let's just go to the top there and grab the pen tool and we just want to draw around where the text is there okay and uh, yeah that's it so what's left now is uh, for us to use uh, the track mat here so we want to go under the text uh, review layer and alpha mat shape layer one. Okay, at this stage, it, this probably doesn't make sense. But okay, so so what happened? So basically, what happened is where we drew the mask and where so and where we clicked alpha mat shape layer one, that's where the text will appear. If we happen to move the text, like I'm going to do just shortly outside of that uh, area that we drew that mask you will not be able to see it so that's where the text review aspect comes in so let's go under the text layer uh, and uh, we want to click the um, the stopwatch for the position okay you can also type p and then we want to okay so this is the final position let me see if we can just yeah we can just move let's say four frames in grab that keyframe okay then we want to go back to the beginning and uh, add another keyframe this time we want the text to go out of frame so that it pops up okay let me just play this okay i like it but i think it's uh it's just a bit too slow Okay, that's better. Let me just drag it again. Uh, a bit. Um, okay, can we just make it a bit faster? Yeah, something like that. Um, now let's just highlight these keyframes. Right click, easy ease, and see. Okay, that's better. I'm sure we can even do even better. Let's just go under the graph editor here. Yeah? We and just click this point here and drag we want it to be the the animation to be fast at the beginning and this slows down at the end let's see how that comes out wow okay i like it so there you have it that's in essence the text review um effect um it's exactly pretty simple to do just like i was saying but you can also um, enhance this effect. Let's see if we can uh, do that. Uh, let's just delete everything. Now, for it to be more, what can I say, more presentable, you just want to make sure that, uh, you know, it's just not popping from the top or the bottom, but uh, you can even do it uh, sideways. Let me show you what, what I'm talking about. Let's just grab the pen tool again. We want to draw a line a line from there to there under stroke there let's just uh, let's make it 
Okay, 10, let's make it 10. Okay, just move the stroke so that, okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, right. Um, right, let's just move the effect to the center. So we have a straight line there that is slanted. So what we want to do now is uh, have the text uh, coming out from the center. Like we review it from the center. So let's just create our face uh, text. Let's just call this one. Let's say uh, reveal. Because that's the text that we're going to reveal. So, okay. So it's going to be um, somewhere there. I think at the end of the animation, I want it to be somewhere there. Let's just go Command D and uh, or Control D on your Windows. Um, so we've duplicated that layer. Let's see if we can uh, drag it here. Here we just want to type text. Okay, just control A. Okay. All right. Let's just at the end of the animation, it should be somewhere there. Um, okay, I can maybe I can make this slightly uh, medium italic. I know that's a bit much. Let's see, italic. Okay. Uh, okay, let me just go for medium italic. Okay, so yeah. At the end of the animation, I want the text to be here. So we're going to do the same thing. We want to grab the pen tool. Let's first start with the uh, review layer. So let me just close this layer for a moment. So let me grab uh, my pen tool again. I want to uh, make to to create an effect that the text is slanted. So I'm just going to follow this line and uh, open another point here. And uh, click there again, there, and uh, yeah, connect this. So um, we're going to do the same thing. Let me just drag this so that it's just above the uh, reveal layer. And uh, I want to track mat um, alpha mat shape layer two. Okay, so already you are you're kind of seeing where I'm going with this. Now we want to animate the text so that it comes in from the left to the right. Um, so let's just, under the shape layer, let's just go there. Or oh, you can just click, highlight it, click P for the position uh, effect there. Uh, okay, so let's just, uh, let's see. Yeah, five frames is fine still. Uh, let's uh, click the stopwatch there. That, that's where the uh, review takes to be. Now I'm just going to go let's see, around two frames there. And I want to drag it out of frame. Drag it out of frame maybe. To start there. Let's play and see how that comes out. Okay. Hey, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's a bit too slow. The review is slow. So let me just see if I can bring this. Uh -huh. Yeah, something like that. So I like those right click keyframe assistant Easy ease them so that the effect is smoother or something like that. Wow, that's nice Okay, that's nice um, Yeah So All right now that we've dealt with the review layer. We want to deal with the text layer now. Let's just highlight it so at the end of let me just highlight as well and click the p for position at the end of the animation i want the position to be there um but before that i also want to drag it out of frame but i want this text now to come from the right to the left so i'm just going to drag it up to here let's see how that goes okay just let me highlight these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, sorry, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease them, okay, right, now what, what's left now is for us also to draw um, the mask around the text, uh, 
layer written text <laughs> okay um yeah let's do that right and uh under the text layer as well under track mat we want to alpha mat track layer three so that's the effect let me see if i can just play it okay wow it's looking nice already all right actually looking quite nice so what i want to do now is to um, uh also maybe if i can animate the the line as well um because at this point it comes out but maybe somewhere here that's where i can uh, we want the line to be complete so let's see if we can uh highlight the layer just drag the drop down so now here i want to use the trim parts effect uh, i think i'll do a separate tutorial for now i'm just gonna uh, i'm just going to make it simple uh let me see maybe i wanted to start from the top no let me make it start from the bottom so that it pops up like i said uh, then uh, i'll give you a conclusive tutorial on these trim pads but for now i just want for the sake of this tutorial um yeah so at this stage let's click the stopwatch and then go back um, okay, and uh, there you go. So that's the effect. Okay, let's see. You can also highlight these. Right click, is is. Um, okay, that's not bad. Okay, okay. I can also just uh, no wait. I can also just drag this one here yeah, so that it's here yeah. i hope you actually learned something and if you did please leave that in the comment section below i'd really appreciate that and uh yeah guys that was it this is maston that zim tech guy and i hope to see you in the next video